Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina, you're watching Financial Calendar on Insta TV. The first half of the coming week will be rather rich in economic events. We will touch on the most significant ones. On Monday, China will report on its economic growth in the second quarter of this year. Experts anticipate growth acceleration to 1.7% on a quarterly basis and a slight decline in annual terms. In the first quarter, China's gross domestic product grew by 6.9% year-over-year and by 1.3% in comparison with the previous three-month period. At the year's beginning, Premier of the PRC State Council Li Qiang said that stability will be the key factor for for the country's economy in 2017. China's GDP growth rate slowed down to 6.7% in 2016 from 6.9% in 2015. The 6.9% increase became the worst result in 26 years. However, the figure coincided with official forecasts. The country's authorities set the GDP growth target at 6.5% and higher. According to Li Keqiang's statement made in late June, China's economy in the second quarter continued continues to gain momentum. Another significant report will see the light of day on Tuesday, as Eurostat will reveal the inflation data for June. Analysts expect the price growth to stand still at 1.3% in annual terms. In May, inflation in the Eurozone slowed down mainly due to a slower increase in energy prices. The inflation rate dropped to 1.4% from 1.9% in April. The inflation level targeted by the European Central Bank is slightly above 2%. Excluding energy, food, alcohol and tobacco prices, the core inflation rate fell to 0.9%. According to preliminary data for June, consumer prices in the euro area declined, but slower than expected. The consumer price index advanced by 1.3%, up from forecasts for a gain of 1.2%, but down from the May increase of 1.4%. On Tuesday, New Zealand will also reveal its inflation data for the second quarter of 2017. In the first three months of the year, consumer prices in New Zealand gained 2.2% compared with the same period of the last year. It was the highest increase since the first quarter of 2011. Economies had projected an increase of 2%. Stats New Zealand senior manager Jason Atterwell stated that rising petrol prices, along with the annual rise in cigarette and tobacco tax, lifted inflation. Excluding cigarettes, fuel and tobacco prices, the consumer price index rose by 1.5% year-over-year. On a quarterly basis, consumer prices added 1% after a 0.4% increase in the fourth quarter of 2016. Analysts had predicted a gain of 0.8%. In addition to these events, the following statistics will be disclosed early next week. On Monday, China will report on its industrial production. On Tuesday, Australia will reveal its recent monetary policy meeting minutes. The United Kingdom will provide its consumer price data. On Wednesday, the United States will reveal their statistics on issued building permits. And this concludes the calendar of the latest financial events on InstaTV. Thank you for watching and see you back soon.